an iconic local hike. We go over the dragon's back as we set off on the first of ten easy Hong Kong walks. So welcome to a brand new episode of Drone and Phone. I'm with Malloy and we are going to be experimenting in trying to get Malloy hiking. Now I know a lot of you have commented that you think that a lot of our hikes are too tough. So we are going to do a series introducing Malloy who's recently come to Hong Kong um, to get him out hiking on the hills, but do it nice and gently. How are you feeling Malloy? I'm out of breath already, just kidding. <laughs> Maybe in 10 minutes I'll be out of breath. <laughs> okay, so Malloy's going to be our sort of guinea pig as guinea it were. Pig. We're going Thank to you. start with a nice easy one and we're going to be going up the Dragon's Back, Hong Kong's classic. Unfortunately, it's raining today, so it's not going to be the best views or the best experience for you, but we're going to toughen you up a bit for later on. Let's get going. Let's go. Despite its reputation as a bustling metropolis, Hong Kong offers a wide choice of scenic hiking trails that traverse mountains, coastal cliffs and tranquil islands, providing an unexpected but enjoyable way to explore the city's natural beauty. In this series, we've chosen 10 easy hikes that get you around the region without too much stress on the body. Malloy, who is relatively new to Hong Kong and hiking, is our guinea pig. We start on Hong Kong's best-known walk, the Dragon's Back. After leaving the bus from Stanley on Sheko Road, Malloy is off to a great start. Well, we've just started and Malloy has gone off at the rate of knots. I'm struggling to keep up with him. Oh. You're going to be the amateur here, Malloy. <laughs> Known as the Dragon's Back for its undulating ridgeline that resembles the mythical creature's spine, this hike offers panoramic views of Hong Kong's southern coastline, including Sheko, Clearwater Bay and the South China Sea. It's one of the city's most famous trails. It provides a perfect blend of natural scenery and accessibility, making it an ideal escape from urban life and the perfect introduction to hiking in Hong Kong. It starts with a sharp, short climb. So this is the first kind of serious climb. I'm going to see how Malloy does Got to say, on the dragon's back, the climb is not too bad at all. Fairly gentle, though you might not think it by this very early start. I don't know if you can see, but we are going to be going up there, Malloy. And then, as the dragon's back uh, implies, we're going to be walking along the ridge, the back of the dragon. One of the walk's key attractions is the great views you get from the ridge, but for us the weather is not on our side. So we've been very unlucky with the weather today. Unfortunately, it was meant to clear for a few hours in the middle of the day and that's not happened. So we're struggling along in the rain. It's not as tough as I expected it to be. Uh, a bit of an uphill climb, uh, leading to that viewing point where you first have an open view of Sheko village and a few minutes later leading up to this viewing point but otherwise it's fun okay now we can see roughly where we're going let me just give you a quick look Malloy we're going to be continuing along the ridge along here and then down to Big Way Bay which is where we'll finish and where we'll get lunch and a hot drink hopefully the full Dragon's Back Walk is around 8.5 kilometres, with an elevation gain of 191 metres. The best views come in the first third of the walk, after which there's a long flat trail before descending to Big Wave Bay. To make the walk a little shorter and more adventurous, there is a shortcut just before you reach Wan Cham Shan. OK, so Malloy, there is a long and safe way down which takes us along over here, but at Drone and Phone we like to do things a little bit different. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a bushwhack, okay. um, but it's going to get us back where we want to go faster. faster. Um, we'll see how we go along the way. Cool. Yeah. Let's go. We follow a small ribbon trail through the bamboo forest until we reach a right turn that takes us down a steep embankment. So I've got to say it's important that uh, 
you have an app with you, the GPS, as you can see here, this is what I'm following. And that will help you make sure you keep on the right trail for Hong Kong. There's the Hiking Trail HK app, which is my favorite at the moment, as it has all the trails. And you can also find or upload GPX files of trails that you want to follow. The trail brings you to Pottinger Gap, where you join the Hong Kong Trail again and begin a descent of just under 200 meters through woodland towards Big Wave Bay. So for us, the rain has not stopped. We went on a little bit of a detour, not the normal Hong Kong Trail route. I've never done that before and it was really quite something. Actually, it was quite enjoyable. So through a bamboo forest and a steep down that's a little bit slippery, particularly on a day like today. And now we're back on the trail and we're going down to finish up at Big Wave Bay. It should be fairly straightforward along a good trail from here on in. If the weather is kinder to you, bring your swimwear for a great finish to the hike. There are public showers and toilets at the beach and a few small restaurants in the village. Once done, you'll find a minibus and taxis out to Shai Wan. Well, that's it for this episode, Malloy. We've done about six kilometers. It's been a nice, gentle start with a little bit of adventure in between. How yeah. was it for you? Um, it was not as tough as I expected it to be. Uh, it was actually fun. It was relaxing at some, for the most part, yeah. Except for that far part <laughs> in the detour. But that was exciting. Yeah. It was tough, but exciting. And remember, of course, you don't have to do the detour if you don't want to. What a fantastic place to finish. It is. If you're just finding this show for the first time, you're gonna find all of our previous episodes nicely cataloged on our website and also on YouTube by searching Drone and Phone. Oh, the website is droneandphone.com, by the way. For now, my name's DJ. And I'm Muloy. And this is Drone, Drone and Phone. Phone.